Hi folks, I'm going to show you how to put bees from your nuke into your hive today. So get your veil on. I already have my smoker lit. It may not even be necessary, but I like to have the smoker lit because the nuke is an actual colony and they might get defensive, as opposed to the package where you don't need your smoker. We also have the deep with five frames inside. We have our feeder with the sugar syrup mixed up, ready to go, and an extra box to cover that. I've got an entrance reducer on with this medium size hole for the bees to use instead of the wide, wide spot or this little one. I like the medium size hole. So that's all ready. Now the bees on their frames from the nuke are going to go right in the middle here. And the queen will be walking around on those frames and we'll find her as we go. And then we just have to snug the frames up a little and put the feeder on and that'll be it. So I'm going to give this little nuke a bit of smoke at the door here. When we got the nuke, we put it down right here where the hive was going to be. And they've been using their door and orienting to this spot already for a few hours. So it's important to put your nuke where your hive is going to be so they don't get confused later. And they've already figured out that this is where their home's going to be. So they're really calm. I don't think I need any more smoke. This is a nice frame of honey and nectar. I don't see the queen on that. I'm just going to keep these all in the same order and the same orientation as they were in the nuke. Oh, there's the queen. So everything's cool. I have seen larvae, capped brood, and eggs as well as I'm looking at the other side of this frame and this side of this frame so there's brood there's eggs there's the queen I'm just gonna keep looking at the rest of the frames as they go in just to check the brood oh that's a lot of cap brood some capped honey up in the corners cap brood in the middle can you zoom in on any of that there there's open brood, larvae, there's some pollen, and all that nice cap worker brood. Pretty much the same on that side. This is really nice. And I'm guessing this is going to be more brood. Yeah. And a kind of a rainbow shape of pollen there between two bands of cap brood. And there's also eggs in those cells that look empty. So bees emerged and then she came right in and laid eggs in their empty cells again. This looks nice. My spacing's a little too tight here, so I'll just shove things over with the hive tool. And the last frame will go right there. If you were starting with foundation, I would do it just this way too, with two foundation frames on one side and three on the other. This one's got mostly nectar and honey and a little pollen. And these are going to expand very fast. So even though we're feeding them two gallons of sugar syrup right now, and they have drawn comb, um, I think that in a week they should get their second story of frames. Um, right now it is almost May 1st and there's lots of pollen and nectar and it's warm and they're going to expand very quickly. So let's cover them up and let them get on with their business. Inner cover, pale feeder, I'm going to flip it not right over them, but over the grass. 
just a little comes out. Put it right over that hole in the air cover. And then empty deep. And the other cover. And you're done. Um, check them in a week. They might have used up that feed. I think in a week they'll take a second deep full of frames. Thanks for watching.